but that was about to change. In 1969, while the city was in negotiation with the Mr. Sam Fuchs, who owned the island that we now call Samson's Island, it was discovered that Sam also owned beach property just south of the Mark Realty Building. A trip to Miami by Percy Hedgecock, Mary DeGula, and Phyllis Wood of the Satellite Beach Women's Club to visit Sam resulted in his decision to sell the beach property to the city for a very good price. But the city didn't have available funds to buy both the island and the beach property. Percy was a member of the County Recreation Board, and he felt that the two women might be able to persuade Walter Edge, the director, to bring it to his board. He did, and they agreed to buy it, but only if the women from the Women's Club would agree not to push for completion because they were still working on the Paradise Beach Park down the road. What he actually meant was keep off his back. In 1971, the county purchased the property for a much larger park than was originally conceived, nearly a quarter a mile of oceanfront property. Groundbreaking for the park was held in 1981, although a parking lot, a well, and cabbage palms had been put in earlier. 20 years later, nearly two acres of conservation land was added to the park through funds available from the state and a fundraising drive by the Women's Club. First heard of Samson Island about 1971 time frame when the city purchased 32 acres for $100,000 from a gentleman named Sam Fuchs. This 32 acres was only half of the island. The original half, other half of the island was donated by Sam Fuchs in the earlier years and his only requirement for the donation to the city was that it be used for recreational purposes only and that it would be named uh, somehow after his family. So he had two sons and so uh, Samson Island then became Sam's sons after his two sons and that was the derivative, so to speak, of the naming of Samson Island. The story of a handful of men and women trying to preserve one of the only uninhabited islands off the Space Coast. This team of workers has spent every Sunday morning on the job since October. Elaine Hines reports on the effort to save Samson's Island. One of the descriptions we like to use is a diamond in the rough. The lush Samson's Island is 62 acres of rough brush lined with thickets of mangrove. Pelicans literally cover the Australian pine as workers below hack and saw their way to make clear paths. We feel we own it in a way. It's part of Satellite Beach. And as we look up and down the highways and we see the, all the concrete and asphalt, we need uh, a, a more primitive recreational area where people can come and relax. But clearing such thick underbrush is all but relaxing. It is, however, a labor of love. To us, it's just like playing golf or playing tennis. We just thoroughly enjoy it. We get some good exercise, and we're doing something for future generations. The future for this wildlife haven was uncertain as the strips of land to the north and south are developed or being cleared as we speak. These volunteers aren't just clearing paths to places like this pine forest, they're also planting seeds for the future. We have even taken efforts to plant the right kind of native vegetation here to draw animals to our island. The animals will have an easier time getting here than anyone else. It's a 20-minute boat trip to get to Samson's Island. The city doesn't own any waterfront land. The closest ramp is at the O'Galley Causeway. But that hasn't stopped these dedicated workers from volunteering hundreds of hours to save the tiny strip of land. The island will be here for the animals, even though the people have a hard time getting to it. They're asking local Boy Scouts to set up a primitive campsite on the north end of the island, and they're giving seeds to students so they can grow native plants in their classrooms and transplant the greenery onto the island. There's a lot of personal gratification when you take your son, who was six at the time, and is now a, a family of his own, and take him over and, and look at the tree that they planted as part of that contribution, the volunteerism of the of the city and see that tree being big. The, all, the, all, everyone that worked over there, everyone that put a tree in the ground or dug, uh, dug part of the, the, the ways on the canal or whatever they did have, has a commitment to, to the city and to the future in doing that. 
And when we say we're doing something for the future, or building a legacy, when you have the kids come out and participate in it, they become owners of that same dream. And that was, a, that was one of the best parts of this whole deal. I hope one of the things that we've been able to do here is that put together an atmosphere where people can do their job. Uh, I know one of the bosses I had one time up at NASA told me, he said, well, supervisor's job is to give the people the resources they need to do the job and get the crap out of the way. Good volunteers and good staff people can work together to get their job done. The city has accomplished much through the efforts of staff and volunteers, but not everything came easily. During the 1970s, the city had to act as developers of the 1920s O'Galley by the Sea subdivision. The city was growing, and there were over 400 lots in that old subdivision that could not be built on. There was no infrastructure at all. There were no streets, no sidewalks, no water, nor sewer. That area would not have been developed for years if the city had not stepped in and acted. Over the years, we've developed an impressive array of outdoor recreation parks. The Soto Park. The Sports Park by the Library. Sampson Island. Pelican Beach Park. Hightower Beach Park. The city has also built a second generation of municipal facilities. A new fire station in 1989. A library in 1991. A new city hall on Cassia Boulevard where the library had been in 1992. A police station on Cinnamon Drive where the first civic center city hall and fire station had been in 1993. The Schechter Community Center in what had been a defunct shopping plaza in 2002. Pelican Beach Park, 2007. The city has also established a redevelopment district to bring new life to our commercial district. In addition to physical improvements, the staff and residents have cooperated to implement a variety of activities and programs for residents. These include advanced life support emergency medical services, youth and adult athletic programs, tennis for all ages, now with eight heavily used courts, dance, theater, and science programs, marine science camps, police athletic league and teen center, full-time resource officers, a marine patrol, and citizens on patrol, in addition to a 55 plus club for seniors. Most recently, the city was successful in annexing a half mile of oceanfront at High Tower Beach Park, as well as 300 acres of Patrick Air Force Base South Housing. That area is now being completely redeveloped as new housing for both military and civilian families. If he could see Satellite Beach now, he would uh, probably turn over in his grave and be the most happiest man in, in the world to see uh, the city taking in Cape Heart because he always wanted to see Satellite Beach grow a little bit. Now he'd be the proudest thing to see what uh, the base is turning into and what the city manager has done for the city and all. We're getting the grants. Uh, he would love to see City Hall now. He would love to see the new library. His uh, main joy was softball and he would love to see the fields the way they look now in office. They're in better shape now than it was when we had them in all. We had a bunch of kids who came here uh, in their 20s and 30s with young children who were all from other areas and just moved in as displaced persons, if you want to call them, basically because of the space program. Two courts, 43 children. We knew everybody. A very, very close community, very close uh, area over there in, in Satellite Beach. Uh, she lives in Castleberry now and with her children. And we go over there for birthday parties. Well, there's a whole covey of ex-satellite kids over there. We were talking after one of those things with several young ladies, and they had to be uh, females from the satellite, and they both started talking about now that they have kids, when they got out of high school, they couldn't wait to get out of here. Oh, this is a you know, quiet little place. I want to get out, I want to get out and do stuff. I want to get, go on away. I went away to college and didn't come back. I said, but now that I have kids, I'm looking around, I recognize what I really had in Satellite Beach. I'm really, uh excited about the fact that my family wanted to come back here to Satellite Beach. 
They were raised here, went to the schools here, and they wanted their children to go to the same schools that they did. And they wanted them to go to the football games and the little leagues and go to the, to the parks and the playgrounds that we have. All of the things that we did with them, they want to do with their children, my grandchildren. So not only are they a part of this satellite beach, but they're really proud of satellite beach. Presenting 50 years of history in this short a time has not been easy. We've only touched on the highlights and a few interesting details. Many interesting events and many interesting people have been left out. For more information, please visit the city's internet website and look through the history material posted there. Even better, if you know of a story or an individual not presented, please use the city's website to submit your information for the city's archives. If you do not use the internet, then visit City Hall in person. Grandma, is that the end of the story? Yeah, Grandma. Oh, no, no, girls, it's not the end of the story. It's just the beginning. As people like you, you're young. People like you, they'll make this even a better community. Percy Hitchcock got the ball rolling. Look what he's done. Now it's up to us to make Satellite Beach even a better place to live. here for what? Close uh, to 41 years. Close, close to 41 years. Our kids went to Satellite High School. Because I wouldn't live anywhere else and I've lived in a lot of places in this world and it's the best place to end up. Happy 50th birthday Satellite Beach. You've earned it yeah. and many many more. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Satellite, Satellite Beach. Beach. I love Satellite Beach. I love living here. It's a place where kids could ride their bike to the beach. Happy birthday Satellite Beach. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Satellite, Satellite Beach. Beach. Happy birthday, 50th anniversary. Happy to be participating in the 50th anniversary of the finest city in the United States, Satellite Beach. Happy birthday on our 50th. Let's go for 50 more from Tom and Avor Brown. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Satellite Beach from Sandy and Gabe. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Satellite, Satellite Beach. Beach. So happy birthday. Yes, another 50 years, I hope. <laughs> Happy birthday, Satellite Beach. We love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday from Mary and Dick Crescenzo. Satellite Beach, happy 50th. Happy birthday, Satellite Beach. Happy birthday, Satellite Beach. Happy birthday, Satellite Beach. Wonderful place to live. You've been an awesome place to grow up. Hey. I'm Steven, and I'm wishing Satellite Beach a happy birthday. I'm Kim, and I'm wishing Satellite Beach a happy birthday. We do want to wish Satellite Beach a great happy 50th birthday and we look forward to 55 and 60 so happy birthday satellite beach happy birthday satellite beach very happy birthday kids are moving back home happy birthday satellite beach happy birthday satellite beach <laughs> oh hi this is debbie i'd like to wish satellite beach a very happy birthday bob and althea underwood wishes you a very happy birthday satellite beach hi i'm dominic montanero happy birthday satellite beach and I'm Barbara Boyens. Happy birthday to you, Satellite Beach. 
Uh, happy birthday, uh, Satellite Beach. Uh, this is Marty Heinze, president of 55 Plus Club. And Thank happy you. birthday, Satellite Beach. Thank you. Happy birthday for the Satellite Beach. Hey, we love Satellite Beach. Happy birthday. Happy birthday happy to the birthday, city of Satellite, Satellite Beach. Beach and all the people who have brought it here. Satellite Beach, want to wish the city a very happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Hi, this is Tony, and we're wishing the city of Satellite Beach a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Satellite Beach! Happy birthday, Satellite Beach. We love living here. Happy birthday, Satellite Beach. Hi, my name is Kendra, and I am seven years old. Happy birthday, Satellite Beach. Happy birthday, Satellite Beach. We love you. <laughs> Woohoo! Just wanted to thank everybody for coming out to this special celebration here in Satellite Beach. Beach, part of our 50th anniversary. It's wonderful to have everybody out here. It's been an exciting day. We've got to catch up with friends, relatives, and just make some good acquaintances. So I just, again, glad to see everybody here, and thank you for your participation.